Hi Libras, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your December, oops, your December Christmas love and romance messages. Now I have a little Santa hat right here to determine whether you have been on the naughty or nice list. So we're going to ask Santa. Santa, let's see, we're gonna do a flip, it's kind of like a heads or tells things, to see if you have been good or bad. In bed, maybe, perhaps. Ah, nice! I can honestly say that you are the third sign that's gotten the nice side because everybody's been fucking naughty. <laughs> well, congratulations! You are one of the top three who has been on the nice list. Some of you are like, hell no, I'm like, bad or whatever. You could be low-key, but remember, Santa sees all. You could have been really, really nice, but naughty in bed, or naughty in the real world, and then very calm and what, whatever. I don't know where I'm going with that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull some of the Romance Angel cards for you guys to see um, what's, what's going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on with my Libras. I hope you guys are doing well. Interesting. We have wedding. Ding dong, ding dong. Oh my goodness! Plus, on top of that, we have religious factors. So this obviously, for some of you, you're already married and you're wanting to know about your relationship. For the rest of you, you might be getting married. Hello, ding dong, ding dong. Some might be getting a good ding dong and then getting married because of the ding dong. Anyways, so we'll start with the marriage card. It says this situation involves marriage. Obviously, some of you are dealing with the marriage and others of you are dealing with a person who you might be leveling it up with, you know? Others of you, you could be dealing with a married person and you are the third party or vice versa. Then we have religious factors. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this marriage, this whole marriage thing, if you know, it involves that. Depending on what you believe in, um, you could be holding off or you could be, you know, waiting for a specific person to change their expectations or you, whatever the situation may be. You know, you you can't help who you fall in love with, whether they're any other religion or any freaking color or any age okay or what they do for a living whatever the case may be it's like the heart feels what it feels and that's that so there's nothing you can do about it don't care about what anybody says or thinks family friends whatever you can take their input yes thank you next but you could just literally be like okay well i i feel this way for this specific person and that's how my soul feels about it so it doesn't really matter anybody else says or thinks about it because they're not the ones that's going to be riding the, I was almost gonna say riding the pony, that too, but riding the waves in this. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move it on out. Okay, Santa, get me out of this mess. All right, let's pull some cards from the Angel Answers from my Libras. Ooh, one flew on my lap. So, we have the no card and I'll show you the other one. So this is no. So whatever you were asking about, whether it could have been like, oh, am I going to marry this person? Am I going to divorce this person? Am I going to see them get them, going to see them get revenge? Whatever it could mean, it just means no, you know? No is fucking no, okay? For some of you, you could be saying no to a married person who wants to have an affair with you and you're just like, no. And, sp and you just like, you're so drawn to them and you're just like tempted or whatever. But Spirit is telling you no because sooner or later, later someone's end gonna end up getting hurt, pissed off, and then the whole situation gets fucked up. But, okay, maybe you said some no to someone or they said no to you. Whatever the case may be, we, we do have a peaceful resolution here. So you guys will be resolving it with respect, with kindness, with whatever, kisses, hot sex. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, 
that's on you. But at least there's a peaceful resolution to it, right? The problem. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put some cards from Amira's Love Oracles for Libra. Oh, snap. You see, I told you I felt there was a third party. We have triangle. Yeah, you see? Say no. Say no. We had the no card, so say no. Or maybe you just didn't say no, and now you're dealing with issues, but there's a peaceful resolution. You see, Libra, you have to balance. It's all about balance. Maybe someone's trying to balance you out, but you see that? Maybe uh, your spouse is doing the hoo hoo ha ha the ho 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 delivering presents to other elves you know what i mean so there's a peaceful resolution and because you have been nice about it you will be uh getting good karma when because you resolved it in a peaceful way and that attracts good karma now, if the other person was very not so nice and they were really naughty, well, they should be getting the same exact karma. Remember, you put out, you receive what you put out. Yep, obstacles. Some of you are having a hard time dealing with this, especially if it re involves marriage and there's a third party here. Um, you might be divorcing or might coming to an end. Um, I'm hearing some of you want are going to renew your vows and you end up saying no, but you end up, you know, splitting in a peaceful way. Others of you, someone might want to marry you. You might want to marry them and they end up saying no. So, um, which deck was I going to use? Oh yeah, the fortune reading cards and then we'll move it on to the sex tarot's. Libra, Libra, Libra. Obstacles, obstacles, obstacles. Who says that love and relationships are all kissing under the mistletoe? Maybe someone's getting a rock. I don't know. I mean, we did have obstacles. It's pretty hard. Let me rephrase that. It will be hard. Okay. Let me just forget what I said. Especially if this is a romance read. It's tough. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't get out of it. All right. We have the lover's card. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Okay. You're going to have to decide whether or not you, which road you want to take. Do you want to stay in the one where it's going to be difficult or you want to take a leap of faith um, have a peaceful resolution and do something else. Okay. Some of you, you have, this is going to be a hard decision for you to make because there's a triangle and you might have to decide who you want to be with. And that itself could be the obstacle and you end up coming up with a peaceful resolution, right? Cause that's what we have here. Peaceful resolution. Ah, all right. So, I'm going to pull some cards from the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. Okay, I'm going to use all four of my sexual decks here. So, it's obviously 18 plus. Libra. Libra, please. Yep. Two of Cups reversed. That's trouble in paradise with the Four of Swords. So someone will be healing from some type of heartache. Um, you could have been dealing with a soulmate who did you wrong or vice versa. You guys weren't doing so good. Like I said, it could have involved like a very committed relationship and even marriage. Some of you will be taking on a different path and you will be healing from it. You will have the opportunity to find healing. The time has come for you to find healing. Okay, let's get some more cards here. I'm going to pull two from each deck. Libra. Libra. Okay. 
All right, we have, yes, okay. This is why. First of all, we have the Five of Wands, which signifies aggressiveness, anger. This could also mean being rough in bed. Some, some people like it rough. Um, then we have the Ten of Wands reversed. This is letting go of burdens or a person who has been very burdensome towards you and vice versa. Maybe this relationship was always about, you know, fighting, making up, fighting, making up, and it got really exhausting. And that's an energy that had to be released. And I feel like it's, it's time for you to let go of that person who has been straining you. Uh, the relationship has been straining, okay? So that's why we have two paths ahead. Choose wisely and be true to yourself. So let's get some more cards here from the Menara, erotic Menara. We have the Queen of Earth. You're someone who wants to be stable. You're someone who can be very faithful if you are treated well. Um, <laughs> interesting. With the Queen of with the Queen of Earth, which is the Queen of Pentacles, you could be good all by yourself. You could be independent. You have that mindset. You're someone who is very grounding, who can stay in a relationship, whether you're male or female. Okay, it's just the card that comes out. You can embody the 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 energies of the feminine or the energies of the masculine. Um, but I definitely feel like you're someone who likes to take charge. And when someone tries to manipulate that or change that, it like really makes you feel a certain way. And then we have the tower, which came out reversed along with the seven of fire, which is the seven of wands reversed. So it's pretty much telling you that the worst has already happened. Um, or it could also mean that shit is about to hit the fan because the energies could be very, very, um, rocky where they're like this and any little thing can trigger it for it to turn over and then shit hits the fan and then you would have to decide from there which path you are going to take okay so i'm going to pull some cards from the lover's oracle for my libra please libra Take note, these are, gen these are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. Um, that's what private readings are for. And just because they come out on these days doesn't mean they're just for these days. It's just when the video was released, okay? So if you can, you can watch all of them from the beginning of the year and so on and so forth. Interesting. Two cards that came out for you. First one is Reflection. Okay, it says give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yes, my dear. Yes. This reflection card is when you, whenever you're in, in that moment, in your feels, and you have time to really purge and cry and, and, and look within and look around you of what you have been doing and who you have been doing and, and stuff like that. It's like... There comes times where you need to give each other space to see what you really want. You know, what's meant for you will always be for you and it'll never pass you by. You can come together, separate, come together, and then same same thing over and over again until both of you guys are energetically aligned. Okay, then we have the power card here. It says, you instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no, like we have that card here, or to walk away at any time. I, I knew it. I knew there was a reason why this no card came out. You have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. I know this was a powerful message for some of you who really needed to hear this. So remember, you have the power, dearie, within you the whole time. Okay? So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use one card here. It's from the Sex Fortunes, and I just got them. <laughs> okay? They're like sex positions and stuff, you know what I mean. So I'm going to pull a card for you to see which sex position is going to be for you for this month. 
All right. Give me a card for Libra, please. My hands are freezing. Okay. You have King of Sex Wands. <laughs> <laughs> the king of wands obviously this is an embodiment this is like the person you're dealing with there could be you that's going to be that dominant you know person that likes to take charge like i was saying with the queen of pentacles you're someone who likes to take charge to be in control and stuff so that's probably why we have the king of sex wands so this is your position for the month libra <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I really, really hope that you enjoy this reading and don't take it so serious. And I hope you find some humor in it. <laughs> All right, Libra, I love you so much and I'll see you in your next video.